Hey what's up YouTube, Hardy Crayfish here and today we're talking about the Asian Ramen. So this is the Asian Ramen, it's situated in Gloucestershire, England and it was built in 1145. And no, it's not haunted by Jimmy Savile, this is the owner, John Humphreys. He's lived there for the past 50 years and apparently he's encountered several ghosts and demons in the property. But yeah, he continues to live here. Apparently he has to take a bible around with him and shit like that to protect himself. But it kind of begs the question, why would you live here if you honestly believe that you've met these demons and ghosts? It's apparently built on a pagan burial ground as well. And also, there's been reports of devil worship and child sacrifice on this site. The mind boggles of why someone would want to live here, to be honest with you. Apparently, there's 20 spirits in this house. Well, I don't know who counted them, but just go with it for a minute. There's 20 spirits in this house. Um, most famous being an incubus, which is a male sex demon, which reportedly pushes people onto the bed. Which I think is quite generous of him, really, because, you know, at least he's a bit of a gentleman, you know, you get his way with you on a bed, so, you know, he's alright. There's also a little girl called Rosie. No, no, not Rosie. Also, apparently he's haunted by a high priestess, whichever that is. The Asian Ramin has been featured on programs such as Most Haunted and Ghost Adventures. If you didn't know who this guy is, it's, um, it's Zac Aaron. What's it called now? Something like Zac Aaron? Yeah, this guy anyway. Oh, I see that. that has got to have a look. We've ever put an X in a toilet room. Sounds like a shitty place. Yeah, they're not the sharpest knives in the drawer, but yeah. It's only 25 to 30 pounds a night to stay there. But guests leave because of furniture moving and apparently they experience a little girl wandering the corridor. Oh, stop it. Stop it. There's been these paranormal photographs taken by paranormal investigation teams like this smudge coming up a staircase. And also, these amazing lights which weren't caused by this amazing piece of scientific equipment this woman's using right here. I haven't actually seen someone using these cameras in a long time, but just have a look at the fucking camera she's using. Jesus Christ. And this is Caroline Humphreys, the John Humphreys daughter. Um, she used to hear the screams of murdered children when she was a child, and she had to live in a caravan outside. Now, again, I'm not questioning, like, you know, John Humphreys here, but if you had, a, like, a kid and they were experiencing hearing children being murdered. I think my first trip would be to the psychologist to be honest with you. Um, it definitely wouldn't be to a caravan outside. Also found uh, bones and daggers in the ground, like literally in like, their front room in front of the fireplace. They found bones and you know weird shit there. And I'm not surprised really judging by the history of its past. It's supposed to be one of the most haunted places in the UK. Uh, is it haunted? Mm, I don't know. Apparently ley lines cross there and stuff, and I don't really believe in ley lines either, to be honest with you. I think it's just a place with bad history, to be honest with you. There's a lot of hype over this paranormal stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope it's a little bit informative for you about the ancient ramen. You've probably heard about it before, because it's really, really famous. Uh, I just wanted to do like a little ghost story, but a little bit of a I don't know, spoof, because I really, you know... I like hearing about the ghost stories because I find them interesting, but I don't really believe them. Um, if you're a believer in ghosts, you know, write down your experiences and stuff down below in the comment section. I'll be happy to read them. And I'll catch you next time for more Heidi Crayfish. See you later.